Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you the products that I purchased during the Sephora sale. A little get ready with me. So if you want to see um, this look and what products I used to create it, then please keep watching. Okay, so to start, I'm going to go in with the Natasha Denona. This is the Glam Face Palette that I featured in my other video um, with my Sephora haul. So I still haven't used the palette. I um, was saving it for this video. So it looks like a very gorgeous palette. Um, a lot of great shades, neutral of course. Um, and they also have another shade in this one as well. I bought the light version. Um, I think I got it for like half price of what it was worth during the sale. So I was like, why not? Like, let's try it. So um, to start, I'm actually going to go in with the Tower 28 Concealer. I'm going to go in with the color, I think this is called CC. Now I did purchase two of these and the first color I bought was Boo and it was just a little too light for me. Um, I mean, it's great for brightening, but then I wanted something closer to my skin tone and I picked up this one. Now, uh, I haven't tried it, so hopefully it is the right color for me. Um, actually, it looks a little bit, if I put it on my hand, I don't know if you can see, it does have a bit more of like a peachy undertone. So I might mix it with the first one, just a little bit. And I'm gonna take that on a small um, sponge and I'm just gonna put this on my eyelid, just so I have like an even base when we're applying the eyeshadow. Okay, now that we have an even base, I'm gonna go in with the color Transition. So it's just this like, um, neutral shade and I'm gonna take that on a fluffy blending brush so I'm gonna see how pigmented these shadows are so it looks like it's giving a lot of pigment and it's blending pretty smoothly so I'm just taking this in the crease so I'm just gonna kind of follow what the palette says for this look and see how this looks. So I think that's good for the crease. Um, sorry, for the transition color because there is a color actually called crease. So when I'm going to use the crease color, I'm going to take something that's a little bit more dense. This guy over here, this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH33 brush. And I'm gonna just go in with that color crease. So like I said, it's a bit more of like a warmer brown shade. And I'm gonna put this on my brush. So these shadows are pretty pigmented. So I'm just tapping the excess off and I'm putting this right in the crease. So like that socket um, area and I'm just kind of like packing it on. So this also could be like a really great palette if you're like, wanting to do like a holiday look because there's a bit of like shimmers in here. Um, so yeah, if you have any exciting holiday plans, which I do not, but um, this is definitely something that you can use. I think it would give a really, really nice look. Okay, I can't remember last time I wore this much eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, so we have two other colors, uh, sorry, three other colors. We have inner corner, outer corner, and smoke. Um, so I'm going to take the inner corner color. So it's just this very kind of like sparkly. I don't know if it's focusing, um, shimmer shade. I'm going to take it like on my ring finger and I'm just going to apply it on the inner corner. So it's almost like a foil. It's actually really pretty. Um, it actually looks really nice. So I'm just taking it like halfway um, instead of like fully on the whole eye. So there is a bit of follow um, that is on my cheeks from the eyeshadow, but that's okay because I haven't done my complexion yet. So I'm going to take the outer corner color. So it's more of like a golden shade. And I'm going to also take this on my ring finger and I'm going to put this on the other half of my eye. So like the outer corner, basically. Um, 
just so there's some kind of transition between the two shimmers. So this one's definitely pulling more of like a rose gold, whereas that first color was pulling more of like a silver shade, where this is more of like a warm gold tone. Okay, what I'm going to do next is take a smaller blending brush. This is the Morphe M514. And I'm going to take the color Smoke. Um, and it's just this like very deep brown shade here. And I'm going to kind of put this ever so gently on the outer corner of the eye. And just so slightly blending it in. What I'm also going to do is take the color, I'm going to go in with like a smaller um, brush. So this is the Morphe M506. And I'm going to take the color Crease and Transition and blend those two and just put it on the bottom of my eye, like the um, lower lash line I meant to say. Okay, so I just pulled out the NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals eyeshadow palette. So I did make a video on this palette as well if you're interested on how it works. I've literally been using this every day. It's like my go-to palette and it's so affordable. Um, so I'm just going to take this color. Um, it's like this plum shade. And I'm going to take that on a very small, um, small brush. I don't know if you could see it there. And I'm going to put this color on my lash line. So just to make the lash line look a little bit fuller, um, that's basically like why I do this. I don't feel like drawing on a wing today. <laughs> so we're just going to lightly line the top lash line. I think that made it look a bit fuller, which is great. What I'm gonna do next is take the color, actually I lied, I'm gonna go into mascara next. So I did purchase this during the Sephora sale as well and I thought it was really great. This is the Lancome Booster XL um, mascara eyelash primer. Sorry, I'm like lost for words of what it is. But I'm just gonna take this. I think, I can't remember if I used this in the past. I never really use um, mascara primers, but this one came in that holiday set uh, of three, so I was like, well, why not? Like, why don't we try it? So I'm just putting this on my lashes and just like evenly coating them. And then for mascara today, I'm going to use the Lancome um, Hypnos Drama Mascara. So again, this is part of that holiday set. And, um, yeah, I can't remember if I've used this before. I think I have, but I, I literally can't remember. So we're going to try it. Um, I'll let you know in the description box below if it bleeds because I'm like the worst. My mascara always runs on me. So, um, I'll keep you guys posted. I know it's been out for a while. So, um, I mean, there's probably reviews on it as well, but, um, I like to try things also that have been out for a while and I've never tried because... There's just so much makeup out there and it's impossible to always try the newest thing. So I'm just kind of wiggling this mascara on my eyelashes. So the mascara is definitely giving me a lot of length. Um, I don't know if that's like due to the primer. Um, volume though? I don't know if it's giving a lot of volume. Um, I feel like it's supposed to, but I just feel like they're looking a little bit like like sticks. You know when your mascara, like um, eyelashes look a bit too straight, but they're still curled. Does that make any sense? Um, I don't know. They're super long. Like, don't get me wrong. They're long, but they're, they're kind of all kind of sticking together. So we'll see how this wears. Um... I'm not like overly oppressed by it to be honest like it's okay they just look like very choppy for whatever reason for complexion I am mixing a bit of products what a surprise um so I'm taking the hourglass hydrating um, skin tint so this is their new one um this is the color two 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add like a few drops of this. So I have used this. It's actually really nice. It's a very, very sheer coverage. Um, so if you don't like wearing foundation, you'll probably like this. It's pretty hydrating and I don't find like it gives me like a lot of glisten to the skin or like you look overly greasy because I hate that. Um, but I'm also going to go in with um, this bronzing tint from Dr. I can't, I'm going to butcher the name. I'm going to link it down below, but the writing is already gone because I've been using this so many times and I love this stuff. It literally just like gives you an extra like if you ever find like you have something that you feel like you little need a little bit more of a tint, like this is that. It kind of reminds me of the Drunk Elephant Did Bronzy Drops, but this doesn't have as much shimmer in it, which is nice. So I'm going to take this on um, a damp sponge. I'm just going to kind of like blend everything. Um, and I'm just going to kind of press this right into my skin. So I do have a bit of breakouts right now. Um, but I'm gonna go in with that to cover more with concealer So you'll see this just kind of like evens out the skin tone, but it doesn't give you like a full full coverage um, By all means if you need like a full coverage um, Foundation then definitely, you know, you do you um, I just don't feel like putting on a full coverage right now and plus this is what I bought during that sale so um, I do like this because it does give you like a hydrating effect like look to the skin But like I said, you don't look like you're greasy because you know how some of those products can make you look like you're you have too much oil on your face these don't do that so we've applied our foundation tint and moisturizer I'm gonna go in with concealer now so I'm gonna take that tower 28 concealer now this has been getting like amazing reviews online and it is really good I really like it it's really creamy it's like a medium coverage um, and it just looks like really nice on the skin so I'm gonna take that color CC and I'm just gonna put it on like areas that I have blemishes. So putting it on the skin directly, it's actually not too, I thought it'd be like dark when I put it on my hand, but it's actually not too bad for my under eye. So like I said, I had that color Boo. So I might go in with Boo after just to do a little bit of brightening, but Boo is a bit too light for my liking. Um, so I'm gonna take like a small sponge and I'm just gonna like go and blend this concealer out. I'm gonna go in with Boo and I'm just going to like do a little bit on like my inner corner just to brighten like a little so we don't have to like overly brighten the under eye and I'm just again pressing this right into the skin. What I'm gonna do next is go in with the Sephora um, Micro Smooth Powder. And I use the color 15 Nude. I think I featured this in some of my videos before. I really, really like this. It's really great for um, setting makeup. I finished my Charlotte Tilbury powder. So I kind of picked this one up because it was cheaper. Um, don't get me wrong. I still love my Charlotte Tilbury powder. But in the meantime, I'm just using this one. And I think it does a really great job. So I'm just kind of like putting this all over my face. And setting that foundation or tinted moisturizer we're gonna go into um some contouring and what i'm using today is the makeup by mario this is the light medium soft sculpt uh shape shaping stick yeah shaping stick and i'm going to i think i'm gonna put this on a brush so i'm just taking this kind of brush that's not too dense but not too flimsy and i'm just kind of gonna work this right near my cheek area I love makeup by Mario blushes bronzers like his products are just so nice on the skin and they just blend so seamlessly and I feel like you can never overdo it with his products like I feel like if you ever put too much it will never look bad so I'm just again packing this on Gonna put some near my hairline at the top. Just so we get some dimension back. Finished with the cream contouring. Um, what I'm gonna do next is go in with some um, cream blush. So I'm gonna use that blush from the T Natasha Denona palette. I'm gonna use the Sigma stippling brush. This is the dual fiber F50. I've had this for like years and I'm like, I need a new one, but haven't had time to really order one, um, but I do like it. So I'm just pressing it on the um, 
brush the color and I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand because I don't know how pigmented this is so I'm just gonna put this on the apples on my cheeks if we can even see it oh yeah so it's definitely more of like a rosy tone blush um, I'm just gonna I don't even know if you can see it can you see it pretty dark like I feel like I would go with something a bit more lighter for my tone you know what this looks like it's like that bronzer blush that two-in-one it's not too bad I feel like I would choose something a bit lighter but in terms of going on the skin it went on pretty smooth so I'm gonna go in with my physician's formula butter bronzer um, this is the Maru, oops, Maru Maru Butter Bronze, and I'm gonna just take, like, a bigger brush, just to kind of set that powder, just so we're all bronzed up. I'm always take some down the neck if you're pale like me. So yeah. After bronzing, what I'm gonna do now is go in with my Dior Blush. This is the Backstage 001 blush. And I'm just gonna take this on like a tapered um, brush and just like apply this on top of that uh, Natasha Denona blush. I'm pretty happy with the complexion. Now the Glam Palette did come with a um, highlighting shade. So it's this big shade here. And I'm just going to take like a fan brush and do a little bit of highlighting. I know, who am I? I haven't highlighted my face in like a long time. So I'm just going to put this on just to give a nice glow the cheeks. Like a nice shimmer. That looks great. Okay, we're going to go back to the under eye. I'm going to go in with that Morphe M514 again. And actually, no, I'm not going to go in with that brush. I'm going to go in with the Morphe M506, so it's a bit more of a tapered. I'm going to take that color crease and just blend it right under my eye. Because I feel like I lost some of that color when I was doing the complexion. So, I think that looks good. And then take a little bit of that color smoke, the deeper color, and just keep that color like on the outer corner of the eye you see how it gives you a bit more I mean you don't have to do this I just like how it looks but if you were to just keep it a bit more um, simple then you can just sorry or like not as dramatic should I say then you can totally omit this part I'm gonna go in now with my Kosas brow pop dual action sculpting defining eyebrow pencil um, and I'm just gonna like fill my eyebrows in so I've been using this for a while already, like since I purchased it, and I really like it. Um, I find like I have a bit of product and like it just glides on your eyebrow. Um, it's not like the smoothest pencil, but like it just does the job. Like look at that, that was like so quick and my eyebrow is already looking like way fuller. So I like cause you don't need a, like a lot of this product, but it can like shape your eyebrows out really nicely okay so for lips I'm gonna keep it pretty neutral so I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline super stay ink crayon in the color trust your gut um, I really like this I use this like every day and I like to kind of line line the lips with this And then they just like naturally fill in with this color. To finish off the look, I'm going to take my Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm just going to quickly set my makeup. Okay, everyone. And this is the final makeup look. Please let me know what you think. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I will be uploading a holiday look very shortly. 
Um, so stay tuned for that and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet to my channel and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!